Hey guys, in today's video, I want to go over the greatest workout drink ever. It's great during the workout. I'll give you those mind-blowing pumps. It's good after the workout for recovery if you want to mix it with protein powder. But look at this. I call it dragon's blood because it literally looks like dragon's blood. But look at the texture. Look at the color. This isn't, you could tell this isn't some synthetic powder you could just buy in the store and it tastes amazing. Oh, that's good. And it's got a dual benefit because it's so healthy. So I, I've always had the theory, if your body's healthy, you're going to get good results in the gym. So proper nutrition, including something like this that you drink during the gym, this is only going to help you in your efforts. But anyway, in the video, we're going to make it together. I'll show you all the ingredients and how to put it all together. And also why I chose these ingredients and, and why it does work and why it should work, essentially. So, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need watermelon. You're going to need watermelon rind. So save that when you cut up the watermelon. Just obviously make sure you wash it pretty good. And then you're going to need beets. I like to get these beets right here because they come vacuum sealed. They're all ready to blend up. Now going back to the watermelon rinds, you can use some of these in the blender though. It's ideal to put them in the juicer. You don't have to do this because I made this uh, drink without the watermelon rinds, just with watermelon itself as well as the beets. But the watermelon rinds do tend to have more of the natural citrulline. So it's ideal if you can do it. Think about it like double impact. It gives you more impact. The movie alone would be fine with one Van Damme, but the fact that he played twins made it that much better. It's kind of like this drink. So if you don't have the watermelon rind, it's fine, but it is ideal. So why do we care about watermelon exactly? Well, it's a natural source of citrulline. In fact, it's probably the best natural source of citrulline you can get. And the watermelon rind has a higher amount of the citrulline, so you definitely want to keep that if you can. So one of the benefits of citrulline is it increases vasodilation. Vasodilation refers to the widening of arteries or veins and is associated with increased blood flow. So after citrulline is consumed, some of it is converted to another amino acid called arginine. And arginine is converted into a molecule called nitric oxide, which causes vasodilation in blood vessels by relaxing them. Interestingly, consuming citrulline may increase arginine in the body more than consuming arginine itself. That's because of the differences in how the body processes and absorbs arginine and citrulline. But the increase in nitric oxide in blood flow may be one of the processes involved in citrulline's beneficial effects on exercise performance. I can certainly vouch for it. In addition to that, although citrulline isn't an amino acid used directly to build proteins, it has been shown to increase protein synthesis by stimulating an important signaling pathway involved in muscle building. Now, I'm going to link an article from Healthline.com. It cites all the studies uh, about this. Uh, you can read below if you want. Now, as far as beets go, here's another article from Healthline.com which cites several studies. Basically, nitrates appear to affect physical performance by improving the efficiency of mitochondria, which are responsible for producing energy in your cells. And beets are rich in nitrates, including a particular type of dietary nitrates known for morphing into nitric oxide inside the body. All this works to dilate our blood vessels and increase blood flow and the transportation of oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. So of course that's good for cardiovascular benefits, but in addition to that, the nitric oxide induced increase in blood flow can contribute to the muscle pump. That appearance of larger, more defined muscles often comes with uh, intense exercise. Now there is one study that says uh, blood nitrate levels peak within two to three hours and therefore to maximize their potential, it's best to consume beets two to three hours before training or competition. And I've heard studies and other people say 30 minutes prior to working out is good. So you can have this shake before the workout. I like to have it during, after the workout is good too. The important thing is there's just have these nutrients flowing through your system. Like I said, there's all those health benefits uh, regardless of the workout benefits. And from my own anecdotal personal experience, I can totally vouch for this. I got the most mind-blowing pumps ever. If you've been working out long enough, you probably had those times where, you know, maybe for a few days, maybe a week or longer, you just couldn't get a pump for the life of you. I've been there too, where it's almost like your your muscles are an inner tube and it's just like got a punctured hole in it where it can't hold any air or in this case, any blood. So having the watermelon juice has always basically given me that back. And I always think that's in a conducive environment for muscle growth. Like if you could pump the muscle and, and, and if it's working correctly the way it should when you're working out, you're just going to get the benefits. If you're having trouble getting a great pump, or if you want an even better pump, or if you just want the health benefits, definitely give this a shot. So there you have it. That's the Dragon's Blood. Let me know if you guys make this, what you think about it. I think you'll agree. It's pretty damn amazing.